Man, this one could have been a major win for your boys, man. This one could have been a major win for the Mopar boys and the Hellcat boys, man. But Forsyth County Police Department was not having it. Hellcat Charger takes off from Forsyth County Police late at night on the highway. Nobody's on the road. You got the power. You know where you're going and you got the gas. There should have been a win-win-win situation. But Forsyth County Police Department was not having it. They got ahead of your boy. Hit him with the spikes. You already know what happens after that. Sad situation. Hellcat Charger down and your boy's behind bars. Either way, let's get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy Knockout360 here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes it a house vlog. You know, I was going down and I come around. Let's get into it. I've got car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets. Anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around. For everyone else, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out, man. So Mopar boys, we got to take an L on this one, man. I'm going to just go ahead and get into it and let you be the judge of it. He could have done some things differently, but ultimately, the police shut him down. All right, dash and body cam shows Georgia police officers in a high speed uh, pursuit of an inebriated driver. That is a Hellcat Charger. Look at the emblem. Forsyth County Police. All right, so he hops out, touches the car, taps on the window. Hellcat driver says, Peace. It's a chase. Two on them. Deputy number two. All right, look like they're trying to bust a turn here. Oh nope, we're just playing. Yeah, real good, good, good fake. Real good fake. That Hellcat struggling to maintain traction, and now it's gone. That's number three right there, or number two. All right, so it looks like he's getting off the freeway and back onto the highway. Yeah. Goodbye. Look at that Hellcat go. Lane Highway, that's a good buy right there. I still think he should be further along though. Like, is he not putting the pedal all the way down? Is is he in eco mode? Like, your boy should be off the screen right now. I don't know what's going on. another cop he gets ahead of him he's looking for it the spike strips look at him he throws it just in time the hellcat hits it god that was perfect that was perfect I think he said good spikes, good spikes. Look at him, now you catch it up to him. Look at him. I can't 
imagine how scary it is to be in a Hellcat Charger with two or three tires busted and you're trying to run from police. Talk about being on skates. Yeah, it's over. He puts his hazards on. It's a wrap. Look at that front tire. That thing is flat. Flat, flat. The damn Chrysler think he's being pulled over. All right, it's over. Hop out. He was already out. That is a Hellcat. Look at the flat bottom steering wheel with the Alcantara peanut butter leather. You know what I mean? Silver flat bottom. 40, 40, in custody, in custody. Are you hurt? You hurt? Well, at least he's polite, professional. That's his firearm right there. You good, bro? Yeah. Thank you for stopping, okay? He said thank you for stopping. That's a nice officer right there. That's the end of that video, man. I've never heard that before. Thank you for stopping. I don't know if he stopped, man. I think he was spiked. But then again, when you go back and you look at it, like, let's go back. And you guys tell me, because, you know, in the movies, you see the spike strips. And the spike strips back in the day was literally a strip of metal spikes that stuck up. Like, if you've ever been to the airport and you try to pull into a section that you're not supposed to, like when you're renting a car and you try to, like, back into the, 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 sp the spot where you rented that car and they got the spikes that go up. And if you go over those spikes at the wrong angle, they'll pop your shit. Like, let's look at, let's go back. Like, they're not even out the bag, right? Like, look, when he throws that. So maybe I'm confusing, like, my old, you know, ideas of what spike strips are and what they are now. I think they're called stop sticks at this point. They're not called spike strips. But, um... It didn't look like he got him out the bag, like it had some sort of covering over it. And that's why I thought at first, maybe he didn't spike him, but apparently he did. When he pulls it back, it's still in the bag, and he tosses it, and that's when the Hellcat hits him. Runs over it perfectly. Runs over it perfectly. So maybe, you know, maybe you don't have to take it out the covering, or maybe it's just a different design or something like that. But either way, man, your boy got spiked. So it's a caveat, right? So they probably wouldn't have done that in broad daylight when there's traffic on the road, pedestrians going back and forth. There's no way that they would have been able to single out one lane to throw the spike strip and then go and get it before all the other pedestrians came by. But the fact that it was late at night, nobody's on the highway, it's just you and the cops, they was able to throw that spike strip, spike your shit, and it's a wrap. And as you can see, your boy just started slowing down because like I said, 700 horsepower, slim body at that probably on the standard 275s, it skates on ice. You know what I'm saying? Not even skates on ice. You're more like socks on ice at that point. You know, wearing socks on ice. Or whenever you try to run uh, on hardwood floor and you got socks on. Like, that's the, that's the equivalent of um, what your boy was going through. So he just pulled over, threw his hazards on. He was like, hey, listen, don't damage my car. Don't hit my bumper. I'm just going to pull over and hop out the shit. By the time the cop came around, your boy was already face down on the ground with his hands on his head. He knew the procedure. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to the officers, though. That professionalism is something I've never seen before. He asked him if he was okay, if he was hurt. And then he told him, thank you for stopping. I've never heard that before. I've never heard a police officer say, thank you for stopping. He didn't have a choice but to stop. If his tires were spiked, he, he was going to stop eventually. One way or another, his ass was going to stop. But he was polite about it, man. But when I tell you they threw the book at him, I mean they threw the book at him. So apparently he got charged with, uh, he was drunk, <laughs> charged with DUI, uh, fleeing slash attempting to elude, reckless driving, failure to maintain lane, speeding, failure to obey traffic control device, driving while license was suspended or revoked, driving on the wrong side of the roadway, and improper turn. I don't know if any of those are a felony, but, you know, they definitely hit him with the book on that one. I mean, speeding, 
uh, with, with driving while license were suspended, failure to maintain lane, like that's petty, failure to maintain lane. That could be anybody. You know what I'm saying? Failure to obey traffic control device. I'm assuming that's the red light. Um, so yeah, they threw the book at your boy, but I mean, that's what happens, guys. I mean, you can have the power, you can know where you're going, you can have all the gas in the world, but if the cops have a plan, it's over for you. Like the biggest thing that I've always heard, two things. Number one is the helicopter. If they decide to pull out the helicopter on you nine times out of 10, it does not matter how fast your shit is going, it's not getting away, right? Hellcat, Scat Pack, GT500, Z01, you're not getting away from a, hel from a helicopter nine times out of 10. And then two, when police officers are just calling ahead, right? So you got one cop at this exit, you got another cop at the exit further down, then you got another cop at the exit further down than that. Like, they're just going to keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? Even when you get into the next county or city, hey, listen, we've got a high-speed chase coming into your county. Just want to let you know. Go ahead and get some officers at this exit and that exit and so on and so forth. And in this case, they did just that. It looks like they had three officers on the scene. Two of them was in the chase, and then that one that hit him with the spike happened to be ahead of them. Got the spike set up. It's a wrap. You know? So when the police officers or when the police department has a plan, it's hard to get away, man. But uh, this guy's down, the Hellcat's down. That's probably one of two only ways that you can stop a Hellcat is to spike it or to put the helicopter on it and just follow it and hope it runs out of gas or crashes out. But either way, man, this is an old video, man. It's from 2002. I didn't even, uh, 2022. I didn't even realize I haven't reviewed it yet. One of my subscribers sent it to me, man. So uh, yeah, crazy, crazy video there. But you know, it is what it is, man. The Hellcat can't conquer all, man. It's Boy Knockout 360. See you in the next one, man. Peace.